let's go ahead and talk to Marlon in the Philippines. Hey, Marlon, how are you doing? What's up, guys? How are you? <laughs> doing good, doing, doing good. good. What did you want to talk about today? Well, first of all, I, I have to give a shout out to all the Filipinos out there. Pinoy Pride, yeah. <laughs> and I just want to talk about the immortal jellyfish, okay. the sea creature that we have been we have discovered and aired through Discovery Channel and Animal Planet. Mm -hmm. Now then, this is the immortal jellyfish, okay. a creature that has the ability to reduce or rejuvenate its its own self when they are at the end of their lifespan at a certain place and period of time. Now then, I am going to say that this creature somehow backs up creationism. How so? As it was written in the book of Genesis. Okay, so... If you... If you read the book of Genesis in the Genesis chapter 1 and about verse, verse 21, it says that God created the whales and every living creature that moved, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wing fall after his kind. And, so, and God saw that it was good. Okay. And at Gen 1 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word of God, and the Word was with God, His power, and the Word was God. Okay. That you're preaching at us. Um, what? Now then. No, not, not now then. Okay. You're preaching at us. And in the beginning, there was the Word. Can you tell me how that is anything but a fairy tale and a beginning of a fairy tale? What do you mean by the beginning? What do you mean by the word? Can you have words without people? Can you have a speaking thing without a mouth? I mean, there are so many different things. I, 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 and also, who gives a fuck about the fish, right? I can say that fish exist in the world. That doesn't mean that God exists. It means that fish exist, right? I can point at, you know, I, I'm going to keep going back to Spider-Man, you know, in the comics. Uh, Spider-Man lives in New York, so I can point to New York. <laughs> that is evidence for the existence of Spider-Man, right? Do you believe in Spider-Man, Marlon? Well, I've heard of him. <laughs> I'm glad. He's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. That's awesome. Um, does he exist? No. Does he, do, does he live in New York? Yes. Well, yes. Does New York exist? Yes. Okay, so I pointed to something in the story that exists, therefore Spider-Man exists, right? <laughs> yes. Do you, do you see how that is exactly what you're doing? No, what I'm trying to say is that God has infused his powers within these creatures. That's why they have the ability to rejuvenate okay. and transfigure themselves at a certain period of time. Okay, so are you saying, so if, if we were to turn that on its head, would that mean that the existence of everything else dying, right? Uh, living things that die, is that evidence against God? Well, he chose this creature. So it's unfalsifiable. He, he chose this creature to have defying death to live forever and ever, frozen in time, unlike the other creatures. And that's how it debunks evolution. Because evolution says... What? Well, see... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All what? changes over time. God, okay, so so God infused his powers. Can we, can we yes, extract yes. God powers from the jellyfish? Well... Can you point to powers? Can you show me powers? Or can you show me something that genetically is no. able to keep itself... Well, the scientists are still working on it. <laughs> so maybe if we're lucky, we can get powers. 
later. No, but here's my question for you, Marlon. Um, okay. The the way that these jellyfish live ostensibly forever is by a cell development process called transdifferentiation. Yes, yes. Right. So does that mean that God has cells? Well, yes. It's in his powers. It's in his powers. <laughs> Okay. And okay. What, what the heck are powers, Marlon? Inside him. What are powers? It also says that they are likely to succumb to predation or disease. Does that mean that God can succumb to predation or disease? Well, well no. He's immune to that. Okay. What I'm saying... Well, that's, that's good. God, <laughs> God gave a portion of his powers to these creatures. Um, I'm glad God's chosen creatures are jellyfish. He shared his energy. How is that? Do you understand? You're not actually engaging with us. Like, <laughs> sorry. No, that's okay. I just, I, it's really funny. I, and I'm glad you're laughing with me because I know you know that I, uh, you as a person, uh, Marlon, I'm, I'm sure you're a great guy. I'm sure we could go and have a beer um, and, and that would be just fine. But as far as the idea is concerned, it's rather silly. And it's one that we're laughing at because, you know, powers are things that you see, you know, in movies. You know, you, you, you see mystical powers, right? And, and, and you're, you're describing... It's energy? No, we know what energy is. You don't get to take a word out of math and science because it sounds mystical. Energy is a thing that we can measure. Energy is is, is something that physics has a lot to, to tell you about and, and, and a lot to learn about. Um, energy is not a catch-all term for magical powers. What are powers? If I attach myself to a fucking electric pole, do I now have powers? Well, yes. <laughs> It's by definition, yes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Do you see how pointless that is? I, I'm sorry. No, that's that, okay. That, the, the fact that's is... I've been taught that's... And that's, that's yeah. okay because you're engaging okay. with it. And also, I've got to tell you, dude, English is not your first language and you're calling in talking about incredibly, concept, con, uh, incredibly complex concepts in another language, and I've got to applaud you. Uh, I, I was going doing, to say that this, the ability that these creatures have somehow debunks evolution because evolution states that it is small changes over time, but somehow those changes contradict themselves. So I, do you want to do the evolution thing? I mean, I mean, it's kind of fun. Oh yes, <laughs> it's it's fun. Neither of us are scientists, and true. I, I I've just I don't understand how a, an un, unsubstantiated claim of powers debunks <laughs> our understanding of the way change over time affects speciation. It 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 it, it feels like it is a real big stretch here. Um, what? Well, th that's how God. Infuse his powers within these creatures. For example, there yeah. is Jonathan. He is 180 years old, the oldest living tortoise in the world. But from what we can read, tortoises only have about 150 years old. So oh, what? so so, I'm I'm sensing a theme here, which is things that live for a long time are somehow imbued with. God powers? Is it just across the board if something yes. lives longer than normal or normal than average? Um, it's been infused. It, it with tea. So if here's here's the question for you then. Okay. So this this turtle is going to die at some point, right? Well, he is already dead. Okay. So did the God powers go away? He just take take them back to paradise over in heaven. It's a turtle in heaven. <laughs> I want the turtle to be in heaven so badly. After 170 <laughs> years, I, I, I would, I would, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like Marlon. Yes. I, I, I hope that you see that it's, it's kind of silly. Um, and it's, it's, it's not. 
you know, I, I think one thing that I've seen on on a good number of comments in the last couple of weeks is this idea of us being disingenuous. Um, we're genuinely sitting with you as if you were right here in the room with us and we're laughing and we're talking about <laughs> things and that's okay. You know, um, the, the idea that we're going to, you know, with absolute, you know, calm, uh, uh, just deference, you know, listen to the idea that I can attach myself to a power line and have <laughs> powers <laughs> is incredibly silly. And I, I, I think that is definitely something that you've really got to take another look at and, and, and work on your definitions of things because <laughs> that's not getting you very far, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry. No, that no, don't I, be sorry. I, this you, was a great conversation. Yeah. I enjoyed this a lot. Do you know? Do you know there there was a time you know where where I for me, I Aaron Ross videos. I, I, yeah. I really enjoyed watching him. Sure. Oh yeah, he's got good stuff on on a bunch of that. Definitely, you know, when you want to talk about science education and, and uh, evolution in particular, Aaron Ross is fantastic. Um, yeah. But I, I like. There was a time in my life when I thought, you know, and I asked adults, you know, where is God? How can we see that God, you know, is there? And they pointed to the trees. We were near a park. And they said, all of existence is evidence of God's creation. And I thought, wow, that's a good answer. <laughs> Until I thought about it a little bit more. And then I realized that that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and, and it makes just as much sense that it's evidence of literally anything else that I can make up. Um, but you had to engage with it first. You had to think about it. So keep thinking about it. Call back. Yeah. Um, I hope that you understand that what you said <coughs> is not convincing to us and should not be convincing to you. Okay. Right, but what's, it, what's your conclusion about the immortal jellyfish and about Jonathan, the tortoise living for a lot longer than it should be? What are your thoughts on that? I think that nature's really cool. Yeah, I think that if you want to, if you want to blow your mind, check out water or uh, water, water bears. bears. Yeah, those things are freaking immortal. Yeah. Yeah. Those things can survive the vacuum of space. They're on the moon right now. They can yeah, they they, they can be they can be uh frozen solid and 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 uh, it's it's amazing. Um just because we're finding amazing things doesn't mean it backs up a thousands of year old claim about you know, a magical you guys being. But the hand of God it's over in outer space. What is? You can, the hand of God, it's a Milky Way galaxy. Hmm. Oh, it's the, the name of a galaxy? Yes, you can search it, right? Cool. Your, your hackles went up for a second there. And <laughs> well, yeah, my... You, my, you were ready. I was like, this sounds trolly. Um, no, yeah. 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 Space is super cool. Nature is cool. The world is amazing. And just because we don't believe in a God doesn't mean we are any less impressed or amazed or full of awe and wonder at yeah. where we live, where we get to live. It's I would, super cool. The heaven is above that and over that realm. But that's, that's, that's silly because what you have is you have somebody who discovered this galaxy and decided to name it. And the name that they chose for it was the hand of God. They could have named it anything, but because it's the hand of God, you're saying that's where heaven is. About heaven. Yeah, that's. I was actually. They say that it's like a hotel resort where you can get everything you want for free, and it's oh, like Marlon. a shopping mall where everything is free. You can do whatever you want. <sighs> the streets lined of gold. In the sure. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it's I. I. If if only that you could show that it was real. Um, it's a great idea, but the problem is, is when you hold on to good ideas because they sound good. Yeah. <laughs> you're making room for a whole lot of terrible things too. <laughs> Did you know? Uh, uh, have you heard of uh, Jim Backer? No. Can you no? tell me? Something him. <laughs> sure. Jim Backer is a um, televangelist 
who has gotten into some legal trouble recently because he's been selling a what he says or was saying is the cure for the coronavirus. Oh. Uh. <laughs> um, spoiler, it's not the cure for the coronavirus. <laughs> it's not. Um, and just because you really, really want it to be doesn't make it true, right? Yeah. Otherwise, it would be just because you wanted it to be. That's not how, that's not how the world works, though. It's just not. Uh, I can agree with that. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Marlon, take care. Thank you for calling in. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to live in this world where we can extract god powers out of jellyfish. And I'm I'm down like someone wants to write a graphic novel about this, I'm down, I'll buy it. I'm Yeah, like like the idea that I could plug myself into a, a, a light socket and have more powers is just don't try that at home. Don't. Please don't try that at home. That is a really you you will injure yourself. Energy is not something magical. It is something that we have learned to harness. It is a thing. Um, wow. <laughs> but you know what? I, I love that he was laughing along with us. Yeah. Because he could kind of see the silliness after it's out. And, you know, the funny thing is you can have this idea bouncing around in your head all day long. And yeah. it sounds great in your head until you say it. Yeah. And then when you bounce it up against something, you go, oh, wait a second. Maybe it's not where I thought it was. Uh, didn't bounce. That was a splat. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I, I've got some... Uh, oh, baker. Sorry, not backer. <laughs> and water bears, their actual term is they're called tardigrades. Uh, thank you from the back. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, 